His daughter was raped and murdered, and now Mark Lunsford in Colorado again, pushing for harsher punishments for child sex assault. 7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger is live at the Capitol. And Marshall, Jessica's law is the standard in most states, but not Colorado. Colorado already has its own standards for child sex assault. The sentences range from two years to life in prison. Jessica's law would have, would have made it 25 years minimum period. But once again, it failed at the Capitol. And tonight we want to know if it's a bad law or bad politics. Jessica Lunsford was raped and killed in Florida in 2005 by a convicted sex offender who had already served his sentence. Today, her father, again in Colorado, trying to convince lawmakers to strengthen our laws. If your laws are so tough and so good here, why are your repeat offenders repeating their offenses? Right now in Colorado, the average sentence for a sex assault with physical harm is about 14 years. The bill to make it 25 years minimum was shot down at the Capitol. Why shouldn't someone get 25 years? We went to the Colorado Coalition Against Sexual Assault. The executive director explained how a 25-year sentence might keep a child from reporting sex assault, especially if they know their attacker. When those people in that child's life know about a really harsh sentence like this, I think they're even more likely to discourage that person from coming forward. We've actually been on the pioneering front on this since 1998 with the Lifetime Supervision Act. State Representative Javon Melton was one of seven Democrats to vote against Jessica's law. He points out Colorado already has half of it. When someone convicted of sex assault is released from prison, they can be monitored for life. We checked and Jessica's law has been brought up multiple times over the years, each time by a Republican in a Democratic controlled legislature. I have reached out to find out why the Republicans didn't bring it up the last two years when Republicans were in charge. I've yet to hear back tonight. Reporting live at the Capitol, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News.